Hi everyone! Want smooth communication outdoors without a signal? Today we bring you the high performance outdoor signal free communication device ThinkNode M5 powered by ESP32 3. It supports Bluetooth connection to mobile phones for configuration. Pre installed with mesh tastic firmware and SX1262 chip, it efficiently sends and receives LoRa signals and can manage parameters, communicate, and locate via the official APP. It comes with a 1.54-inch display, 1200 mAh long-lasting battery, built-in GPS and external multi-frequency LoRa antenna, with a compact and durable shell. It's a reliable communication tool and there's no network or emergencies. By the way, the red light flashes when charging and stays on when fully charged. After, let's move on to getting to know the functional schematic diagram of ThinkNode M5. ThinkNode M5 covers applications including community networking, technology enthusiasts' use, emergency communications, outdoor adventure, and fleet management. While ThinkNode M5 boasts diverse and powerful application scenarios, it's also worth noting the differences between it and ThinkNode Monkey. ThinkNode M1 and ThinkNode M5 differ significantly in core parameters such as main processor, CP, U slash soft, system memory, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, and the device names on the bottom case of the devices are also different. The front of ThinkNode M5 is equipped with a 1.54-inch EPD display and status indicators on the right side. There are a GPS switch, a function button, and a page turning button. The back has a sticker with device information. The top is provided with an external LoRa antenna and a power on knob with a up power on mark. At the bottom, there is ARESET button, operated with a SIM card ejector tool and a TYPC interface. Next, we will introduce its practical usage methods in detail. Before use, you need to complete basic hardware assembly and power on operations first, and then realize core functions such as positioning, alarm, and screen adjustment through physical buttons and switches. First, ensure the antenna is connected properly. Then perform power on and power off operations. Turn the black knob on the device clockwise, and the device will power on successfully when you hear a click sound to power it off. Simply turn the knob counterclockwise. The device body is equipped with multiple function control components. Among them, the GPS toggle switch has clear operation markings. Toggle it upward to turn on the GPS function and downward to turn it off. It is also equipped with three physical buttons, a function button, a page turning button, and a reset button. Note that the reset button is located inside the device shell and requires a pin to be inserted into the corresponding hole for operation. For the specific use of the function button, a single press sends a temporary PING signal of the device's current location via the network. A double press turns on the device's front light to cope with dim environments. A triple press immediately triggers the SEOS alarm function, at which point the device's buzzer will sound an alarm, and the indicator light will flash alternately in red and blue. A long press activates the low-power sleep mode, where the red light turns off. To exit sleep mode, press the function button once or use a pin to trigger the reset button. The page turning button is used to switch the display pages on the screen, facilitating the viewing of device data and status from different dimensions. In addition, you can flexibly adjust the brightness of the display's front light by rotating the black knob on the body to adapt to viewing needs under different light conditions. In the subsequent video explaining how to operate MeshTastic with ThinkNode M5, you need to prepare two ThinkNode M5 devices and two mobile phones, including iOS and Android systems, in advance for the experiment. Install the MeshTastic APP on the two phones respectively. You can download the version suitable for iOS and Android systems from the official MeshTastic website. Turn the black knob on the side of the device clockwise. Click sound indicates successful power. Wait 10-20 seconds until the front EPD screen lights up and displays status information, then startup is complete. Launch the MeshTastic app on iOS, available for download from the App Store, and grant Bluetooth access. Tap Connect at the bottom to let the app scan for devices. Select MeshTastic D574 from the list to start pairing. Enter the PIN code of ThinkNode M5, tap Pair, and wait for the app to indicate a successful connection. In the MeshTastic app, tap Settings, find and enter LoRa configuration. 
Select Set Laura Region. Choose European Union 868 MAZ, then locate Frequency Override and set its value to 868 to finish the setup. In the Settings menu, find the Channels option and click the Add Channel button. Enter the channel name M5 in the Name Input box. Then click Save to complete the channel setup and return to the main settings interface afterward. In the main settings interface, locate the Share QR Code option. Click it and the system will automatically generate a QR code image corresponding to the current channel. Next, we will use the MeshTastic app on an Android phone to configure the ThinkNode M5. Open the MeshTastic app for Android and tap the plus button at the bottom right corner of the screen. In the pop-up device list, find the ThinkNode M5 device named MeshTastic V630. 8 and tap it to start the pairing process. Enter the device PIN code and wait for the Bluetooth connection to succeed. Select the corresponding communication region. After a successful connection, in the configuration interface, select the same region as the IOS Phone European Union 868 MOZ. In the configuration interface, ensure the same region as the IOS device as selected European Union 868 MAZ. Access the radio configuration interface. Tap the three-dot icon in the upper right corner of the app. Then select the radio configuration option from the pop-up menu. Tap LoRa to enter the detailed configuration interface. Verify that region is set to European Union 868 MAG. Set override frequency to 868 MAG. Tap save at the bottom of the page to save the setting. The device will automatically restart to apply the configuration. Once the restart is complete, Tap close to dismiss the prompt. Return to the app's main interface and navigate to the channel settings interface. Click the scan button to activate the QR code scanning function. Use the phone's camera to align with and scan the QR code generated for the M5 channel on the iOS device, thereby completing the process of joining the channel. To conclude the video, let's take a look at the actual communication effect in the MUI5 channel. When the iOS phone clicks the small bell in the input interface and sends alert bell character, the Android phone interface will receive the message from MeshTastic D574, and the corresponding device will display the message and trigger the buzzer. Conversely, when the Android phone also clicks the small bell to send alert bell character, the iOS phone interface will receive the message from MeshTastic 638 and the device will also display the message synchronously and sound the buzzer. In addition, the iOS phone can also send location information by clicking the location symbol, enabling multi-dimensional communication and interaction between devices.